the one and only Ivan. Draw me a story by Beth Ferry and published by Disney Press. <clears throat> Ivan was a gorilla, the only gorilla at the big top mall. The mall was a strange place to find a silverback gorilla, but sometimes the most magnificent things are found in unexpected places. The mall was Ivan's home and he was happy there, mainly because it was filled with his friends. There was Thelma and Murphy and Henrietta, Frankie and Bob. And then there was Ruby. <clears throat> Ruby was the newest member of the Big Top, and she had a lot to learn. Those are sneakers, Ivan informed her. Humans think sneakers make them run fast, like cheetahs. And that's a turtleneck. Why anyone would want to look like a turtle, I'll never know. And that green stuff? Dry leaves but humans don't eat them. They prefer the pink clouds. What's that, Ruby asked, pointing at a pile of sticks. Crayons, said Ivan. They help me draw pink clouds and blue lakes and green forests. Ivan is crazy about his crayons, Bob piped up, and his drawings. Bob was right. Ivan's domain was filled with drawings. Drawings of beetles and bananas, drawings of beautiful places, drawings of old friends and promises made. Draw me, Bob demanded. You never draw me. I am completely drawable and adorable. It doesn't always work like that, Ivan said. Art has to come from the heart. Well, I sleep on your heart every night, don't I? That could count for something. It accounts for my matted fur, Ivan replied. Oh my goodness. Can I try drawing, Ruby asked. Ivan handed her a crayon. Ruby looked closely into Ivan's eyes. Then she drew it. She studied her own eyes. Then she drew that. Look, she said, our eyes are the same. And they were both round and dark and beautiful. Ruby finished drawing Ivan, then rummaged through the pile. Where's the color of me, she asked. There was no crayon that matched Ruby's wrinkly skin. Ivan reached for a small box Inside was a silver crayon his human friend Julia had given him. Silver th for the silverback, she had said. Ivan had been saving it for something important. That's not the color of me, Ruby said. It's so bright and shiny and special. <laughs> Ivan laughed. That's exactly what you are, Ruby, on the inside. Ruby hesitantly took the crayon. Go ahead, Ivan said. Sometimes art isn't just what you see. Sometimes it's what you feel. Ruby colored herself silver. And Ivan was right. She did look exactly how Ivan made her feel. She added some more silver to the drawing. Silver for the silverback, she said. Then she handed him the crayon. Will you draw me a story, Ruby asked. Ivan wasn't very good at telling stories in words. Maybe he'd be better at telling one in pictures. He thought for a long time. Then he drew line after line after line and finally two lines next to each other. Hmm. Whoa, said Bob. Is that modern art? Ivan arranged the pages on the floor, and it says one plus one equals two. That's not a story, Bob said. That's math. 
It is a story. It's the story of us, Ivan told Ruby. The one and only Ivan and the one and only Ruby, always two together. Bob too, Ruby asked. Bob too, Ivan agreed. And Thelma and Murphy and Frankie and Henrietta, she added. That makes seven, Bob said. It makes one, Ruby corrected, one family. That's awesome. Ruby was the, the newest member of the Big Tent and she had a lot to learn, but she already knew the most important thing, that her friends were her family.